the best way to fight against these rogue brands is with our wallets. That's why I use the Beams app when I do my grocery shopping. Okay, this has a very poor rating, so we definitely are gonna be putting this back. But look at all the other ice creams in the store that have great ratings. We have Bluebell, we have Dryers, Telemuk, Blue Bunny, Halo Top, even Baskin Robbins. So let's go pick up some ice cream that supports our values. All right, now on to the next item on my list. I'm sure you're assuming that the TikTok you just watched was satirical, but if you thought that, you'd be mistaken because it is very much real, my friend. That was anti-woke TikToker Britta Risi who used her TikTok to advertise an app called Veebs, hailed as the woke-busting app by the Daily Mail, and it helps shoppers avoid woke brands at stores. Now, we'll come back to the shitty reviews in a moment, but first, just so you fully understand how the app works, here's a bit more from that TikTok. Next on my list are tampons. Let's see what rating Tampax has. So they have a very low rating, but it shows that Playtex has a much better rating. Playtex does make an organic cotton tampon, which is a lot better. See how simple value-based shopping is? I'm so glad someone came up with this app. It makes value-based shopping so simple. Download Beebs today. Her enthusiasm there was palpable. <laughs> But I mean, I've got to I've got to ask the question, organic cotton based tampons. That sounds kind of woke to me. And unfortunately for conservatives, this app does have a very deep, dark secret. But more on that later, because I hate to be uh, that guy. But I first got to point out that this influencer may have broken FTC disclosure laws for influencers because she's supposed to state her relationship with the company clearly in the video, but she doesn't do that, nor does she do that in the description where she tells her followers to use activation code 1776 for a free 30-day trial, but I promise not to tell anyone. But I will say that if she is getting paid, she does need to cut her aunt a check because she was really working it here in this TikTok. I love gadgets. Okay, Downey, let's see how this works. It's so easy. Oh my goodness, it's got a poor rating. Most places that I go shop have method. That's perfect then. It's all about being familiar with and makes it a lot simpler when you're doing your grocery shopping. So let's add this to the cart. So Aunt Stacey, what do you think about the app? I'm so excited to support all the brands that support my values. Let's give it up for Aunt Stacy, everyone. Incredible performance. And it's relatable because I too love gadgets. Now, despite the extreme enthusiasm that we saw from Brit and her auntie, most conservatives don't actually seem too thrilled about the app. I mean, sure, some are, but it has an overall rating of 2.7 out of 5 on the App Store, with many users complaining about them requiring your phone number and possibly selling your information. And one user even called it a scam, arguing the premise is great and it had potential, but, and this is a big one, it claims to be free with in-app purchases. There is nothing free about this app. You get no scores, no information of any kind. On the free version, it's essentially a barcode scanner that gives you the product name, that's it. If you want this app to act according to its description, you have to pay monthly. In my opinion, all this is a scam to get email addresses and phone numbers for data collection and associate your information with your political leanings. Ding, 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 that would be correct. And I too downloaded the app in preparation for this video in hopes that I can kind of like get familiar with it. But yeah, you can't get past the screen that demands that you give them your email address and your phone number. So I did what any reasonable person would do in that situation. I deleted the fucking app. Now, it's not just that users are seemingly against it, if not, you know, a sizable portion, uh, most. Um, even Conservatives on Fox News seem pretty skeptical about it. For example, Veeb's co-founder and CEO Chris Rhodes couldn't even convince Stuart Varney, of all people on Fox Business, that this was a good idea. So listen to one of the first things that Varney says in response to the existence of this app. Hi, Chris. If I go into a grocery store, I'm pretty sure that most of the items I want to buy are indeed put out by woke, friendly companies. There's not much left to buy, is there? And therein lies the problem. This app is meaningless because every single company in existence has already gone woke. This is what conservatives have communicated to their viewers. But in a moment, I'll explain why that's not true. In fact, no company is woke or anti-woke. But let's continue. 
Well, you know, you just got to know where to look for it. There's there's actually plenty left to buy um, if you have a tool that allows you to look at uh, at what the companies are really doing. And so that's what okay. most companies don't actually have political values. They don't give a shit about what your political beliefs are. Sometimes you'll see them virtue signal towards social movements, but that's nothing more than a marketing ploy, right? They're not actually woke contrary to popular belief. And the Veeb CEO is going to inadvertently prove that that is indeed the case while he pitches this app. So pay close attention to what he says. And also, Britta Risi is going to make a cameo too. So let's watch. So you've got a rating system, right? Uh, uh, how does that work? And do you have a, yeah. a rating where if you're top of that list, you don't buy that product? But if you're at the bottom of the list, well, yeah. you might buy a little of it. Is that it? Well, it's it, you can use that rating however you want. The the rating is based on whatever values pack you choose, or or you and you can choose several. Um, and you go into the store, you scan the product, and a, a rating comes back to you for whatever your values happen to be. And if you're looking for, you know, as you call it, an anti woke uh, company, then you want the uh, conservative score to be very high. You can look at that score of what whatever product it is you were going to buy. Uh, if it has a low score, we'll offer you alternatives and you can find companies and brands and parent companies that match your values a little more closely. How many people have downloaded your app? Well, we, we have had an amazing response to our first marketing campaign and How we're up over, you know, into the tens of thousands. Uh, and into we're the tens of thousands. To, okay. You would be more precise oh, yeah, than that? Yeah, we're, we're, uh, yeah, we're, we're up to about 50,000 now. Okay, um, so it's free. Uh, we're looking. It's free. Well, the app to download is free. To get the scoring is ninety nine cents a month. Um, that's our monetization model. We gotta we, if we want to stay independent. If we want to stay with our information being updated on a continuous basis, we need to uh, be a, an independent company that makes money. It's like the old saying: if if you aren't paying for the product, uh, you are the product. So we okay. we do require for the scoring to be. Uh, to be a, a subscription. It's an interesting sign of the times app, if you ask me, uh, Veebs. Credit to Stuart Varney because I actually didn't expect him to be that ruthless. You know, the guy was being really coy, didn't want to say how many people downloaded the app, but Stuart made him, so that was great. Look, again, I'm one of the 50,000 people who downloaded the app, but as I stated, I deleted it immediately because I think most reasonable consumers know that if an app is forcing you to give up that information, it's usually for nefarious reasons. But let's look at the framing of the overall segment. So if you go to the Chiron there, the segment itself is called Waking Up to Wokeness, and the Chiron reads, Veeb's app takes on woke brands and companies. And that's largely how the app has been marketed thus far. But the CEO himself, he was a little bit more vague, right? In what he said specifically, he stated that you can use whatever values pack you choose, which is pretty interesting, right? He's not directly saying this is going to help weed out the woke brands. Sure, that's a feature, but he didn't say that. And the reason why he's being so coy is because this app has a deep, dark secret. It's woke, or more specifically, you can download woke DLC. That's right, because on their website, they have options that are inclusive of any and all political ideologies. Liberal, conservative, climate change, veterans, Black Lives Matter, America First, and even LGBTQIA+. <gasps> so this to me is heartbreaking because the anti-woke app is actually very much indeed woke. And I feel like this app ironically exemplifies the problem with value-based shopping. Corporations are not people. Thus, they don't actually have political values or any values for that matter, aside from maximizing profits. They will check any and all political boxes that cast the broadest net and make them the most money. And this company, Veebs, is no different. Even the wokest companies of them all, like Disney, for example, don't have any real political values. Because remember, Disney only condemned Florida's homophobic don't say gay law, which is what led to woke accusations after they faced backlash for donating nearly $200,000 to the Florida Republican Party. So much like the Veebs app, all corporations have value packs that they'll utilize in order to save face, and currently being anti-woke seems like the most lucrative option, which is why many companies are putting in that values pack currently. And also because conservatives are gullible, hence why Veebs is marketing itself as an anti-woke app, even though 
It's just about values, politically speaking, more broadly. Now, anti-woke YouTuber The Quivering, I mean The Quartering, talked about the app itself in one of his videos, and he also pitched it as the app that detects woke. But hilariously enough, he found out in real time that they don't actually stand for anything. It's something that I actually wholeheartedly support. I know some people say it may be cringe, but if I'm looking at two different manufacturers of flour or, pa or paper plates or tomato soup, and I can very easily and quickly scan the two cans and figure out if the particular brand that uses it or that is producing it is woke or not. I think this is great. I think it's an absolute W um, tool. And it's uh, you know uh, an app that I'm happy to give a try. And they're not even sponsoring me. You know how I love doing ad reads. And this particular one is going to be very interesting. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if the app stores and um you know google and android app stores block it a few moments later and it doesn't really say anything by the way on here about whether or not it's woke or not more moments later well you know if this was pushing like leftist ideologies they would there would be a million articles about how awesome it is and how you can totally stick it to the man um you know because now you can see if they donated money to Republicans or something like that. Two seconds later. LGBTQIA. <laughs> yeah, so it does do both. Um, it's still genius. <laughs> My brother in Christ, they are marketing it to you specifically because they know that conservatives are marks. But to be clear... I don't think that it's inherently wrong to avoid companies that don't align with your values if you want to make a small political statement. And I'm also not saying that organized boycotts aren't effective if you want to apply pressure to these companies. The problem is that we live in a capitalist society and there's no ethical consumption under these conditions. I mean, even if you see that a company is LGBTQ plus supporting on its face, if you do a little bit of digging, you might find out that they source their products using slave labor from a developing country. Now, having said that, though, I'm still going to buy a different pillow than the one from the My Pillow guy just because fuck him specifically because I don't like him and his politics and I don't want to support him. It's an easy decision, right? And I'm not saying that you're wrong to avoid certain brands if you feel compelled to personally. But I mean, this whole woke phenomenon and hysteria over woke has gone really far like as they claim that wokeism has gone too far hysteria over wokeism and political correctness has gone too far because if you try to base your entire life and political identity around what is and isn't woke you are going to exhaust yourself quickly i mean if every single item that you buy or every fucking movie that you watch turns into an internal struggle to determine whether or not it's woke or ethical I mean, you're just, you're going to make yourself miserable. Now, right-wing propagandists, they like to work people up and concern troll over what is and isn't wokeism because they want you to buy their products and watch their movies, right? So you can rest assured that they're not woke. You could just make an easy purchase. But I mean, life is short and stressing out over dumb bullshit like this, it's not worth your time. Besides, there are better ways to make a political statement than this but i mean if conservatives want to take on large multinational corporations by all means have at it because corporations are not your friends and if conservatives the extent to which their activism against large multinational corporations is like doing boycotts because they think that they're woke i mean i honestly don't give a shit it might be one of the dumbest reasons imaginable but they're still taking on corporations and i like that the pressure is being applied because fuck these corporations right uh you know and while they're doing this I think it's good because it'll give leftists a chance to do real work while conservatives are distracted about the Barbie movie and whether or not their hot sauce is woke. Because I think that normal people don't give a shit about whether or not their mayonnaise or hot sauce is woke. They just want to live their lives and be as happy as they possibly can under these circumstances. And so apps like this, they're very clearly gimmicky. They're very clearly trying to cash in on a trend. But the reason why Veebs isn't just the anti-woke app, contrary to what the marketing will tell you, is because, again, it is a corporation that wants to make as much money as possible. So if they can get some money from the libs as well, then they're going to do that because corporations don't have values. They have an interest to make money. And that is really all that this is about at the end of the day. Woke mom.